NATO's plan for a possible Ukraine no-fly zone. Introducing the F-22 stealth fighter. While at the moment a no-fly zone does not seem like an option, there is only one way the US Air Force could pull it off, the F-22 Raptor stealth fighter would be a big part of it, could the F-22 Raptor be part of a no-fly zone over Ukraine? Last month, two Ukrainian members of parliament are asking NATO to execute and enforce a no-fly zone over Ukraine to stifle Russian fighters that have achieved air superiority. F-22s have a history of serving in Europe having been deployed there in 2015, 2016, and 2018 to train with NATO partners. The Raptors could join F-35s that have already been redeployed from Germany to Eastern Europe. But would there ever be a no-fly zone in the first place? Ukrainian politicians call for no-fly zone. Kira Rudik, in charge of Ukraine's Holos political party, and Ivan A. Klimpush, representing the European Solidarity Party have called for a no-fly zone, pointing out that financial sanctions alone will not work against the Russians. In Britain, a handful of conservative members of parliament have called for NATO air support in Ukraine and even a no-fly zone. The chair of the Commons Defence Committee, MP Tobias Elwood, is in favour of the tactic. Since then, many others in Ukraine's government have called for a no-fly zone as well. No-fly zone would be act of war.